<sighs> Take three. I've run into a bit of an issue with some of these map challenges I'm looking for, but we'll get into that a little later. First off, welcome to your Monday. We're doing a diverse world. We're geo-guessing. How are we doing? Originally, I had plans to do a... Hmm. I don't know what country this is yet. They're driving on the British side of the road. However, this doesn't, these aren't British words I'm seeing. Dot com. Man, I'm very, this one's a bit Kuala Lumpur. Okay, that, that changes things very much. Anyway, how are we doing? It's your Monday. We are hanging out. Trying to find Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. All right, we're on the E2. Let's hit home and start back from here. Anyway, um, we are talking about the trials and tribulations of doing certain user-created maps. Now, I've been, this is the third time I've tried it today because the previous two that I tried, one was the Capitals one. It had two black screens. I've tried twice on that one to see if it was a bug, and it wasn't. Um, I tried one after that, which was a different Capitals one. And that one also had a black screen. And I said, oh, I'll try to skip that. And then the one right after that was a black screen. So we have a bit of an issue when it comes to coming up with some map suggestions. And as I always implore people, if you guys have map comment questions, suggestions, Anything, put them in the comments below. I am looking around for ones because, you know, I bet Diverse World, I mean, it is the same map. It's pretty much the entire world. This one's pretty well curated, uh, but maybe you're getting tired of that. Maybe you want some more genres or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to find this place here. We got Kuala Lumpur. Lingi. I see a 9, but is that N9? No, N27. Here we go. Okay, we got to get a bit closer. Uh, anyway, how has your weekend turned out? Was it good? I, uh, had to do a bit of, uh, traveling back to the old city I used to live in to drop off some paintings. I have mentioned before, I can't even find any of these. Lingi. Rembao. I've not seen any of these. Paca, no. None of these are popping up. I had to go drop off the paintings because I'm doing the hour hop again this year. I know I did it. I was doing it last year, and it was around this time last year, as I keep saying the word last year, that uh, I busted the collarbone and kind of went on that break slash. I really was considering not doing any more of these. I got to get a little bit more information so I can kind of figure out what the fuck is happening because I can't think and or decipher where the hell I am. Okay. Pohor, Johor, Pedas, Lingi, Rembau. There's Lingi. Pedas, Lingi, Rembau. Okay, so we're on the exit there. I think we're on the one. All right, so I think I got a pretty good idea as where we are. Um, We're on the E2. That's the E2. Man, they, they do a pretty good job with their highway marking around here. Or north, so we're heading east. So that's got to be one of these, isn't it? We got the E1, but no E2. Maybe we're over here a bit more. Ah, I wasn't too. I was a little, little far off. We're in the North South Expressway. Like that one. That one was a good one. Uh, okay. Let's minimize a bit. Get this off the screen. We will know where we are right now. Ostevang. It's got the O. Denmark is what I'm thinking right now. Denmark is still what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing the paintings, as I mentioned before. Uh, it's been a while since I talked about it, but I am doing... Uh, actually, is there a URL on this? Uh, poor painting. That's the type of style I'm doing where it was very easy to pick up, and I'm still futzing with it, but 
they have an annual art hop is called in called there where uh mine happens to be up for three months where it is it was like just like that last year people can walk around look at some cool shit and if you like it you can buy it don't have to it's all free just walk around the town it's expanded quite a bit this year they say so that's pretty cool all right so denmark is not that big of a country I mean, it is, but also it isn't. We're looking at just size compared to other cities and countries in the world. You know, it's not that big. All right, can we find some information as to a town? I'm looking for a highway if I can get there, but I don't know if I can. Seems to be some sort of industrial park. At one point it may have been, maybe it's not anymore. We got New Holland Agriculture. Okay, we got do have road signs here. Okay. Haven, Viborg. We got Alborg, Viborg. Okay. 26. That's the 26. Nyko Bing. Where is Nyko Bing? I'm thinking either that is a different local route. Or maybe it's a circle. Let's let's set on ourselves again. We got V Borg, which was where were you? V Borg's right here. Nico Bing. I'm calling it Nico Bing. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but I'm going to call it that. Haven. V Borg is twenty this way. Hmm, Haven. Haven. Havel. I'm going to put ourselves here just so we have a centered point. I'm just going to slowly, because my orientation might be a bit off, I'm trying to find the 26. We're staying on the 26. Does Okay, the 26 does go past it. 29 kilometers, so... Maybe around here? I'm just going to stay on this road and look for a haven. And if we can't, then I know my... Strategy is unsound. We're not in that direction, I believe. I feel I've zoomed in enough that it's going to show Haven, even if it is a small town or whatnot. But I'm not getting anything here. Yeah, the, I thought I said dump. Okay, that's too far. I haven't even seen Nyko Bing. Or if I did, I was not paying attention for it. So I don't see Haven anywhere. I gotta make a guess. Uh, well, Viborg is that way. Nico Bing. Nico Bing. Here? I'm gonna say. Hmm. I might be off. Yeah, we were up this way a bit. Where's Haven? I don't see Haven not showing up. Hmm. Not surprising. This is nice. Another European location. I'm going to say, before I turn around, this is either Italy, France, or Germany. Neither. Bratislava. Okay. I've seen that word before. Bratislava. Now the problem is trying to remember where. Bratislava. Just give me a moment. I do remember. Yep, Slovakia. Here we go. Oh, they're on the D1. So that seems like a very major thoroughfare. D1 there. Where's the 18? It's the closest one, I believe, is how it's worded. Is the top one is the closest. 13. I'm not seeing 18 anywhere, though. It might be one of those paired ones again. Prezov. 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 Whatever you're... Hmm. I mean, I could technically... Okay. No, that's just the exit. 
Let's see what this is. This is a really pretty picture. Image. I like it. This is nice. Nice countryside. Alright. Su Sukani. Sukani. We're just gonna kind of come in close to Bratislava and then slowly work our way out. Pop Rad, Zelina. Do I see Martin anywhere? No. The 18. I gotta look for the 18, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Hmm. But I feel that if it was paired with a different highway, it would have given the other highway sign, like, priority, like, priority of the 18, say it was, was paired with, like, E58 or something. They would either alternate like this, or just have 18 on top of that, but I'm not saying that. Like, I'm, hmm, 75s. All right, let's just try to find this highway number first. We're going to start over here. We're doing baby steps till I can't find it. I, think, I found a 9, so it does go that low. There's a 2. What about the other side? I got a 19. But these are all, like, it feels like, Slovakian names. But I'm not seeing an 18 anywhere here. Zoom in a bit. Like they got multiple, like three digit numbers for the smaller ones, but. And I think I've really focused a bit too much. And then the D4, but I'm not seeing a D1 anywhere. D2. Let's hit home and try to find this sign again and then further understand what I'm seeing here. Prezov. Okay, Vladislava. Where is Prezov? If you're ever wondering how bad my logic is as far as figuring out where we like where we are, this is kind of how it goes. Okay, Prezov's way the fuck. So this would explain why I didn't see it. <laughs> Man, that that threw me for a loop. Man, I uh really got hung up on seeing that one there. But, you know, in my defense, you think they would have given a bit more information, like closer cities to where you're going if you're taking that exit, but fuck me. At least got the country right. All right. Is this the Midwest? I don't know yet. Let's see what this road sign says. We'll never know because the sun is Blinding it. Exit 419. Nothing exists in this town. How depressing. Uh, so there's going to be some road signs for the exits and entrances. Generally. Like this will say the exit, but... We're heading to Stratton. Yeah, that doesn't tell me. This is a... Lot. We're going to get on the... On ramp, and then we're going to get back... We're going to go down the road a little bit so we can see, like... Oh, we do have a highway sign here. This will help. We're on 70. All right, so we are in the U.S. Now just trying to find highway signs. It's going 70. All right, so 70 is a massively long highway. And now we're going to... Do a little detour into Stratton to see if I can't find a little bit of um, information as to like where. And I got Disco, Disco NT, where we are here in the U.S. Because this is just any town Midwest. Now, you can get a video tour of the Claremont Inn, man. Why would you not want to? Okay, I got I-70 ends. Dairy meat. Oh, dairy treat. I <laughs> uh, might be wasting too much time here, but this I'm curious now. The best quote-unquote free hotel breakfast. I'm sure people have come here and said, well, you said it was free, and then they had to 
amend their statement. So I'm gonna hit home and head in this direction. We're on the 70. Okay, speed limit 75 has me intrigued a bit. Let's see what this says. Then the closest things we have Burlington. Hmm, is that Illinois? Selena. There's Selena. Okay. So we have a very far Bethune. Burlington, Kansas, I believe, is a place. I don't know. So we're going to keep looking a bit. 70, 70, 70. Abilene, Selena, Wilson, Hayes, Ellis. Oakley Brewster. Okay, I'm not. Oh, there's Burlington. So Bethune Stratton. Here we are. I see it now. Okay, we're on 70. We were exiting maybe here. Let's hit home and find out. Okay, we were in the other lane. So we were like here, potentially. Let's get back over here and try to get onto that exit ramp so we can see what was near. The Senex. Hmm, these may be old. Stratton. Colorado. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I am there. <laughs> God, that had me worried. I was just barely off, man. Overthinking things. What else is new? Final round. Let's see. Give me a toy toy. So this is France, maybe? Avandra. At least it's a French-speaking area. All right, give me... Well, we're in Brooker Wee, huh? Botero. Nothing telling me anything yet. That's a very blurred out town house. All right. I thought it was der, you know, that dumb vernacular. Moobells, Decazion, and Antiques. So I feel this is France. Only because they speak French. That is my logic right now. I've narrowed it down to a certain percentage of the entire goddamn world that has French speaking and or primary language is French. That is a lot of the world. Probably more than you think. Oza. Yeah, it's real fancy that they put a, a sign there. Ooh, we have Luxembourg, I believe. Dot L-U. I mean, is there any other potential this could be? Another, yeah, in the video that got eaten, we had another Andorran location, and I was very much saying how nice and pretty it was and how these little tiny countries like this did not get absorbed immediately by the surrounding major comp countries. I mean, I'm sure at some point they were, but, you know, now... Excuse me, I'm going to stretch. Oh, but now they're like, yeah, sure, you can have your tiny little country. Well, it's, it's no big deal. But I wonder what makes it as like distinguished, like very distinguishing between, you know, if you were to look at something from Luxembourg compared to something from like Belgium or France. I mean, I'm sure the French culture bleeds out pretty hard to the surrounding ones, and I'm sure French has its own, you know, regional dialects, just like Germans do. Like, I was watching some video, might have been Anthony Bourdain one, on, oh, they drink, where the hell was it? Um, uh, not Dusseldorf. I can't remember where it was. They, it's where Kolsch, the type of beer that was located uh, and then there was right next there might have been cologne 
And then right next door, they had a different type of beer. I mean, they always talk about how the this city is just completely... It's kind of a boring city. The architecture is kind of bad. But anyway, they were talking about how the dialect between the two regioning neighboring cities is pretty distinct and sometimes can be hard to distinguish between the two. But you could also argue the same for, you know, southern accents or if even Irish. Like Irish accents can be pretty strong. Scottish accents can be too. Like there's a pretty good video of uh, someone trying to use uh, Alexa or some other Google thing and his accent is so strong that it was not able to understand it at all. And it's just that it needs more work for regional dialects to understand it more. Did I nail the country? I did not. Or did I? Oh, I think, yep. I just got the shoe in. So I am right. Ah, that one felt pretty good. I'm glad it actually got done. I'm checking. It's still recording, so I am not freaking out. That's going to be your Monday. And again, if the, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, concerns, complaints, anything for maps, games, other things you want me to look at or talk about, put them in the comments below. And, uh, We'll come back for Wednesday for another round of your GeoGuessr. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.